We are on lesson 13, session one, page 282. Connected. What our goal this week is to learn how to add totals above 10. We've already learned many of those strategies and we can use any of those strategies to solve. Here it says, there are six red chairs, there are seven green chairs. How many chairs are there in all? Well, let's, if there are six red and seven green, and we want to know in all, those are joining words, right? That means we're gonna put it together. That tells me that six has to be a part and seven has to be a part. And we are going to join them, put them together to make the whole, okay? So, Here's our number bond. There are six red chairs. There are seven green chairs. This is a part, this is a part, and this is a whole. We're gonna put one, two parts into the whole to make the total, okay? So if I have six red chairs, I'm going to draw six. Or let's write our equation first. Six plus seven equals blank. So if I have six, I'm gonna draw six chairs. One, two, three, four, five new lines, six. Then I have seven green chairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Putting them together, now I have one group of 10 plus three more. 10 plus three equals 13, okay? So my total is 13. Another way to show my work is to think about addition doubles. Get your whiteboards out, I'm gonna count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's write our addition doubles. Ready? Zero plus zero equals zero. Oh, one plus one equals two. Two. Two plus two equals four more. Three plus three equals six hits. Four plus four equals eight, that's great. Five plus five equals 10, again. Six plus six equals 12, that's swell. Seven plus seven equals 14, let's lean. Eight plus eight equals 16, know what I mean? Nine plus nine equals 18, jelly bean. 10 plus 10 equals 20, that's plenty. So if I'm going to do a problem like six plus seven, you still have your number line out or your whiteboards out, right? Let's make a number line, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's look at the numbers six and seven. Are six and seven neighbor numbers? Are they right next to each other on the number line? Yes. That means if I jump from six up to seven, I have one jump. If I jump from seven backwards to six, I have one jump. So there's only a difference between, of six and seven, there's only a difference of one. So I can 
look at six plus seven and I can break this apart and say six plus six because it's a double and then that seven got distributed into a six and a one, right? So six plus one equals seven. So then I can add as a double. Six plus six is 12 plus one more is 13. So that is one more way to solve the problem.